it's a natural thing to fear. I mean, if you, I mean, again, I'm quite close to the student population. I'm in campus pretty much every day, and the number one thing that you know that always comes about when a student is new to Germany is the language. Always ends up being a bit of a barrier. Um, yeah, look, yeah. I think you need to you need to understand that if you look at the top countries, top non-English native countries that work and communicate in English, Germany is number eight. It's higher than Singapore, and I'm from Singapore, by the way. And I pretty much did everything in English. Singapore was ten, Germany's eight. I think the top few are the is Netherlands and the Scandinavian countries. So, uh, the point I'm trying to make is: look, English is a very, very openly used language here. I think pretty much everyone speaks English. I did not speak German when I first came to Germany four years ago. I speak well more German than I did four years ago. Um, and and yeah, I mean, look, getting around here in English is not difficult. You know, in Germany, you have got. If you look at the statistics as well, I mean, forget about all students, but just if you look at Indian students, you know, if you look at EU Blue Card students who are not students, but professionals who are getting the EU Blue Card, which generally is the equivalent of the US Green Card, or more or less equivalent, like not permanent residency, but residency for four years without the need to work, or uh, where you can do, you know, pursue your own interest. Twenty-eight percent of EU Blue Cards are issued to Indians. That's the statistic that's provided in the EU reports as well. So, uh, I think. Look, the point I'm trying to make is yes, German, is German language important? It, I guess it is. Yes, to study and learn it here, but it's not compulsory. And students who come here, they learn it automatically. I mean, you know, your passive learning, right? You know, when you're hearing it in the streets, when you are going to the movies, when you're going to order food or something, you know, you will definitely just continue to hear and hear the language. So you passively learn the language. I think the other thing to also consider is it's obviously the fact that um, it's an open economy. A uh, very very open economy. You have got because of Brexit, a lot of big banks, big businesses are relocating their headquarters to Germany, whether that be Munich, Dortmund, Berlin, um, whichever city. So essentially, what you have is you have a lot more MNCs and banks definitely coming with an English speaking background because you know that's you know you don't expect JP Morgan to operate in the German language. Let's be open and honest about it. So um, you know, so definitely the the English speaking. Kind of that barrier is lowering. You know, if you go look at the jobs today, the uh, the jobs today in Berlin or in other other cities, a lot of them are saying that you know English language is advised. English language is is not required, but it's advised. And and I think you know it's going to continue towards this this trend uh, for the foreseeable future because you know uh, companies do need a hub in the European Union, and Germany has a low unemployment rate. It has the uh, it, it's just a good place to do business and run a company, and you get good employees as well. Um, And the good thing about it is also students again, you know, while they have that fear for the first month, two months maybe, after that that fear goes away because you are in a new, you know, then you get used to everything, you get used to the bureaucracy, you get used to the way of doing things in Germany, and you just move on from there. Visa for a better life.